Hallo zusammen, wir sind hier in Hamburg bei Warner Bros. und haben uns zusammen den Lego Batman Movie angeschaut und danach, nach dem Film, uns das neue Story Pack für Lego Dimensions angeschaut. Was wir so erlebt haben, wie uns das gefallen hat, seht ihr in dem folgenden Video. So, Film ist jetzt zu Ende. Dann schauen wir uns doch einfach mal Lego Batman Erweiterungspaket für Dimensions an. Warner hat uns hierfür ein paar Stationen aufgebaut, an denen wir das Spiel schon testen konnten. Batgirl und Robin sind die Hauptcharaktere, sowie auch Batman. Die können wir auch alle im Spiel spielen. Lediglich Batman muss schon vorher erworben werden. So wie auch der Joker, der wie alle anderen Joken nur als extra Figur erhältlich sein wird. Ja, in sechs Stufen könnt ihr, wie auch in dem Film, den typischen Lego-Humor erleben und richtig äh, eure Abenteuer mit dem Spiel haben. Auch ohne den Film gesehen zu haben, ist es möglich, das Spiel zu spielen. Wer allerdings den Film gesehen hat, der wird sich sicherlich doppelt freuen können, da er einige Szenen aus dem Film direkt wiedererkennen wird. Nun sind wir ein bisschen weiter gewandert und nach dem Film haben wir uns jetzt auch Lego Dimensions angeschaut. Und zum Abschluss präsentieren wir euch noch ein Interview mit Mark Warbotten, dem Lead-Entwickler von TT Games von Warner Bros. Hi Mark, how are you doing? I'm not too bad, especially better now we've come indoors for the interview. It's, okay. it's very cold outside, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah, I'm not doing too bad. Did you enjoy the movie? Yes, I did. Good. So, uh, how long did you work on uh, LEGO Dimensions? And uh, when did you release it? Well, LEGO Dimensions uh, originally came out um, not last year, the year before, so it's been on the, the shelves for quite a while. Prior to that, it had been development for a number of years, you know, to try and get the, the game right, the technology to the right level that we wanted, so it's been a, a labour of love for many, many, many years now. Put it this way, I had less grey hairs when I started than <laughs> I do now. Okay, let's uh, especially talk about uh, LEGO Batman. And uh, how long did you develop this special episode for LEGO Dimension? Well, right after we, we locked the original uh, assortment for um, LEGO Dimension, you know, year one, we came up with the, the plan that would become year two, and LEGO Batman movie sort of fell into that. So we started coming up with ideas, we worked incredibly close with the, the filmmakers over the previous year and prior to that to try and get their ideas, their concepts, and a feel of what this, this movie would eventually be. And because of that collaboration, it, it's turned into something a little bit special. Okay, and uh, we saw the mu movie some minutes ago, and what was your favorite scene, and what is your favorite character of the movie? Wow, my favorite scene, um, so many, I mean, I, I, I love everything in the Phantom Zone, uh, I think probably the bit in the, the, the trailer that you see where he's walking around the mansion and he's still got his, his Batman mask on and he's like warming up lobster in the microwave, it's just, it's a side of Batman that you've never seen before, nor would you ever see uh, before, it's, it's a new take on him and that's, that's kind of fun as a, as a fan of, of DC Comics and Batman, it was, it was nice to see a different side of the character. Favourite character in the, the film? I mean, there's so many because they, they just filled it with all these incredible characters from the history of, of comic books. I, I would be remiss to say if I, I, I didn't say Superman, because I'm a massive Superman fan, so obviously any film that he's in is an instant 10 out of 10 movie in my book. Um, but they're all great in their own little ways. What are your upcoming projects uh, for LEGO Dimension? You told me that you will fly back to London tomorrow and will be in your office. Yes, yes, no no rest at all. Um, so once we, we release Lego Batman onto the world, it's uh, straight on to finishing off uh, Goonies and Lego City uh, packs, which will be out later this year. Incredibly excited for them. I mean, Goonies was one of those films of the 80s, wasn't it? Everyone just, you know, who was born around that time loved it. And I think it's, it's going to be fresh and unique to anyone who hasn't seen the film and a fan favorite for everyone else. And of course, Lego City is just Lego City. It is the ultimate Lego brand and we're incredibly thrilled to, to have it in Dimensions. Okay, one last question. Is there anything you to tell our uh, viewers or give them a special hint what they should uh, experience in Lego Dimension? 
I think the thing with LEGO Dimensions is you can't tell people what to look for. It's it's your own imagination. It's what you want to be. It's the characters you want to play as in the situation you want to play with. So it, all you can say is just have fun and use your imagination and find new cool ways to experience the game. And that's the best way to play it. Okay. Thank you very much for sharing your time with me. Absolutely. And uh, we see us very soon again. Hopefully so. Thank you.